Joshua Sheng here, host of the Extreme Full Efficient Channel. Today is August the 3rd, 2018. The number three, okay, not as in third manure. You guys really need to start giving me a break, right? After all, English is my fourth language. It is going to be my fishing session number 120 of this year. Damn, man, 120, huh? I fished a lot this year already, but anyways, right? Before I start the video for today, I would like to emphasize on three little things at the beginning of this video. Number one, by the time you guys are watching this YouTube video, my family and I, we're going to be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. If you want to follow my fishing adventures over there on a daily basis, please make sure that you follow me on Instagram. I'm going to be posting stories there every day, right? Before the videos come out here, on the YouTube channel. Number two, it is a new month, August. Make sure if you are part of the Patreon crew or the YouTube inner circle, meaning that you clicked on that join button, right? And you are a monthly member here. Make sure you give me your Snapchat name if you want me to add you on my new Snapchat where I post my fishing reports, right? Almost on a daily basis with GPS coordinates of the spots, right? And if you want the new hyperlinks for this Mug Mug Fish Photo Database. And number three, if you have any suggestions for EPF for future videos, okay, on your reviews, don't be shy, man. Just comment below, leave a, leave a comment, you know, and I don't usually reply to them all, but I do promise that I read them all, right? Such as that today's, in today's video, I am going to be using something that you folks have recommended me to use. Check it out. We're going to be testing the MAPS Basser Kit. So some subscribers have come here in the past and they told me, Leo, why don't you buy some of the MAPS Basser Kit and just give it a try to see if it works, right? There you have it, man. I follow your suggestion, right? I have used the MAPS brand before. As you guys know, I am a big fan of just, you know, using inline spinners, right? I tend to tie on my Johnson, man, and just swing it around all the time out there, different places, right? I mean, many have fell prey, fallen prey to my Johnson in the past, you know what I'm saying? I also like the Thomas Lures EP series, right? I have done multiple videos on it. So in this video, well, I'm going to tie it on some of these and see if we can catch some fish on them. Stay tuned, today's fishing session should be good. Well, first things first, we got a set of six uh, MAPS 3 Aglia spinner baits, Basser kit, right? Killer kit, man. Now, which one of these colors am I going to use first, huh? Mmm. You know what? Let me pull up the, the longest word in the Brazilian dictionary and we're going to go from there. Wow, dude, this is new even to me. The longest word in the Brazilian dictionary is Pneumo Ultra Microscopico Silico Vulcano Coniotico. All right, I guess we're gonna run with that. Uh, Pneumo Ultra Microscopico Silico Vulcano Coniotico. There you go, we gotta go with the white one, okay? That's the one we're going to get started for the day. Well, well, I am using the Basser kit from MAPS, right? So, I don't even know how many ounces this lure is. It doesn't say anywhere on the lure how many ounces it is. Only says it's the Aglia 3. Doesn't say anything on the package either. It says made in France. I'm pretty sure the blade is made in France and this thing is assembled maybe in the United States of America. Since I am a best angler for a day, I should have a nickname. So let's name EPF today shall be known as the Gugangroco. That's a good name, hell yeah. All right, let's test for castability. First cast of the day. Uh, not bad, all right. With this castability in the canal that I am fishing today, I believe that I will be able to cast all the way to the other side, which is important for me. So you know what, man? Let's get the fishing started. The action in the water looks pretty darn good too. I understand it's a good day. Pick it today. Oh, I hope so. Right, I just got started, you know, so. Guys, that he caught a four pound bass. Oh, really? All right, let's hope.
Oh, there's one. First fish of the day. First fish of the day on the spinner. Now, is it a bass or is it a pickerel? That's a nice bass. Nice bass nailed the pickerel. Yeah, I mean, that nice bass nailed the inline spinner. As you guys can see, right? Gugan Roku makes justice to its name. And apparently the maps does work, huh? Top of the mouth, first fish of the day. Not bad, man. I just started like not even five minutes ago. That's very nice. I hope this is the beginning of a good day of fishing here at the canal. So there you have it. We got our first largemouth bass of the day, the Micropterus salmoides. I'm just going to release it over here. Booyah! And uh, <laughs> let's continue fishing to see if anything bigger is going to show up. Oh no, my first not good cast of the day. My Aglia right into the tree. But thankfully, I am using 30 pounds Power Pro. So the Power Pro should not be a problem for any trees on the other side. Nice cast. That's Oh no, too nice of a cast. Get out of there. Ooh, man, dangerous circumstances here at the canal, right? That's why, man, Gugan Roku, always living on the edge. I keep telling everyone here on the YouTube channel, and uh, people think I'm playing with them. I always tell them, listen, kids, you have to punch sometimes all the way up there, you know? All the way deep, son, where the sun don't shine. So that when you do that, sometimes as soon as the lure falls in the water, right, the fish is all the way on the other side, under the shades, it will hit your stuff, man. You will feel it right away, right? It will hit your stuff real fast. Oh, for sure. All the way to the back. Sometimes you're going to cast all the way to the back, son, where the sun don't shine. Punch it back there. It's a bass, isn't it? Oh, don't jump, don't jump. Come here. That's, that's a nicer bass, man. I mean, nicer for this canal, right? I'm not going to give it any slack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fatty. Fat. That's all I have to say, son. Fat. Dude, length, lengthwise, look, at, look how fat this bass is. Holy cow, look at that. Dang, bro, it ain't good in the canal. Wow, I already took photos of, uh, of the largemouth bass as a species, hooked on the side of the mouth. All right, second bass of the day. This is for those who always say, oh, EPF only catches dinks, right? Well, today, man, I'm Gugan Roku, man. And Gugan Roku don't play. Just like the alligators, man. Alligator don't play, right? There it goes, man. Second bass of the day. I'm still looking for one of those juicy, well, you know what? I'm not gonna jinx it, so I'm just gonna keep working the canal and hope that something even bigger than that is going to show up on the maps today. Nice cast. Very nice. Hey, what's up? Yeah, I got three bass so far. Yeah, it's been good. No way. Yeah, dude, it's canal is good. I, I mean, ride down here, honestly. Sorry? I said I never ride down here, honestly. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Yeah, no, man. There's uh, there's some nice bass and some pickerel over oh, here okay. too. Yeah. You come fishing here a lot or not? I mean, maybe once a month. Okay. I go to a lot of places around here. It's been a while since I hit this particular place. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, cool man. Are you on duty right now, yeah, or I'm just going duty. for? No, I'm on duty. Oh, yeah, really, just... bro? Yeah, I took the bike shift today. Like they, I can be in a car, but uh -huh. not to, you know. It's nice to get out. Oh, uh, so you can choose. You get to talk to people too. I see. Yeah. Dude, you know, I mean, I hope you hot. got enough water though, cause it's, it's hot. hot you know? Yeah. Okay, usually though. Okay, I'm man. I hope it's a good day right. for you, officer. Yeah. Have a nice day, man. Very nice officer. Officer probably thought, you know, man, this Asian dude is just yelling and talking to himself. Let's go check on Google and Roku. Just to make sure that the kid ain't crazy, you know? <laughs> oh man, all right, back to fishing, back to fishing. 
Oh, I almost got snagged. There's a piece of wood right over there. Oh, fish on! Dang, bro! That was a fast one. Wow, and not only a fast one, but this little bass, this little bass still green. I mean, not only literally green, but <laughs> this little bass nailed it, dude. Holy cow, two hooks on top. I mean, two sides of the treble hook on top, right? Like, basically three. I hate when they eat it this way. So let me see if I can get the third one out first. There we go, I got the third one out, so that's good. Oh no, he hooked himself again. Easy, easy boy, easy. Easy. The Asian will take good care of you. Easy, okay? Let me chew out. Three out. There we go, right? So I didn't mangle this little fella. Go back where you belong. You work now for uh, Gugan Rook. Go tell your cousins and your great grandfather to show up. Nice cast. Nice cast. Oh, fish on. Dude, what? What? Wait, what? Wait, no, no way. No way. No. 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 I, I, I refuse to believe this. No way. No. Is this for real, dude? Is this hooked on the mouth? This can't be hooked on the mouth. I mean, it's a green sunfish. Let's see, let's see. Mm, it's kind of hooked on the mouth. This is, this is crazy to believe, but... This green sunfish actually nailed the treble hook of the map's ugly tree. Look at that hooked on the inside of the mouth so it counts as a catch wow that is one gritty yo gluttony is a sin little grain sunfish well second species of the day turns out to be the little lepomis cyanellus maps mangled its mouth pretty well but i think this one is going to survive holy moly i could not believe that that little fish was able to actually hit, you know, the hook. Wow, okay. Hmm. Oh boy. My man, before we continue with this video, I would like to give you guys a few remarks. on the inline spinner that we have been using today so far so so far in this video i really give this maps 10 out of 10 you know i mean i always have been a big fan of inline spinners and this particular inline spinner right here not only is it big enough to kind of weed out the smaller species of fish right with the exception of that grain sunfish is because it has a big mouth but it also catches the smaller species of bass. So this lure right here, the Aglia number three, I still don't know how heavy it is. It is the perfect lure for folks who want to go out there and you know, you just, you don't want to catch the panfish, right? You want to catch the bigger predatory species of fish, all right? I mean, I have nothing to complain about, man. This thing right here is a straight forward skill, right? You just cast it out there. There are no secrets in this video. It's steady retrieve as you guys saw it but just that you have to have a certain level of dexterity to cast in the places where you want to cast right so that when you row it back the fish are ready to hit it overall no complaints let's get the fishing oh man it's hot out here hopefully we're going to land the species that i'm looking for in this video all right let's continue fishing The way to the back. Oof. Oh, I missed it. Dang, dude. That one I saw. All right, it wasn't big, but let's see if that fish is still there. Dang, dude. Swipe that at full force. Oh, no, not this one. Uh uh. What is this? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It should still be there. Ah, oh, waste no time. Even the little sunfish. All right, should it still be there? Come on. Ah, uh, short. Dang, man, that one, I saw the swipe. <sighs> How did I miss that? Uh, 
Oh, there we have it. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> came back for it. Small one, though. Okay, tiny. All right, man. Tiny counts, too. Oh, you got one. Yeah, I got one. <laughs> there we have it. Huh? I thought it was a pickerel at the beginning. Turns out to be a little largemouth bass, right? He was right by that inflow over there, just waiting for something yummy to pass in front of its face. Here's another hint from Gugan Roku so that you guys can learn some stuff about bays. I could cast all the way back there, but I feel like I'm gonna get snagged and lose the lure. I don't have a good feeling about that. But I have a feeling there's a fish there though. Gee, that's one of those tough decision, tough decision. Tough decision, okay, so let's do it. Mm, I feel like there's a fish back there, but I feel like I'm gonna get snagged. Nah, this cast was short. I'm snagged. I was snagged on fishing line or something like that. Uh, you know what they say, right, man? Leave on the edge, bro. If it gets nagged, it gets nagged. <sighs> All right. Let's do this. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I lost it. Dang, dude. I knew there was going to be a fish back there. Because there's so much structure over here, you know? Whew. Well, at least I got my lure back. This is one of those spots that is like high risk, high reward, you know? Nice cast. Dude, it could be a nice, super nice cast. But there's no fish back there. That's a so nice, dude. It's like a nice environment for the chain pickerel too. Which is why I don't understand. I could swear there should be a chain pickerel around here. I just don't get it. Where are these pickerel today? All bites that I had were small ones. Yeah, okay, let's try again. Back there. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! This was not getting away. All the pickerel bites have been so small. My first pickerel of the day. I knew there had to be one around this area. I'll bait not a big one, man. I'm just uh, happy that, uh, that we caught one. Dang, we got to at least see the species show up on the video baby one we need the great grandfather of this dude right here <sighs> there we have it first little picker of the day man it's taking a few little things off my maps too the little white things here look at that dang son but at least one of them decided to show up right i've been getting little taps and little taps of these guys the whole day Finally, I got fed up <laughs> and one of them showed up. Third species of this video. We're doing good. Okay, let's come on. Ooh! Dude, little pickerel was swiped at my inline spinner full force. And then full force. I'm watching. I'm watching a little bit too much eye dubs, man. <laughs> full force. Okay, yeah. Forget about the full force thing, but it's wiping the lure. All right, right at the great blue heron. <laughs> Sorry, blue heron. Oh damn! I had a strong hit back there. Oh, fish on. Dude, great blue heron was not wrong. What we got here? Small. Ah, uh, it's another small pickerel. You know, when you have great blue herons like that back there, you know that there's bait fish, right? The, the bird is not going to waste time. So when you see birds like that, well, when there's bait fish, well, obviously, there is a chance that bigger predatory species of fish are going to be around. Here's another hint from Gugan Roku for you guys. Huh? Wow, man. Oh, no. <laughs> it fell down there. Okay, let me use the tip of the rod to kind of very gently put it back in the water okay here little fella very gently no you're going the wrong way bro why are you suicidal like this oh it's lit in it's lit in 
Yeah, there it goes. I already took shots of the chain pick road today too, so I'm not disappointed. Oh, that's bad. I got snagged. Wow, okay. I finally got snagged so bad that I think I'm going to lose my lure. All right, folks, I finally got snagged on a piece of object that was big enough that not even my 30 pounds test is going to save me. So I've got my Rapala gripper right here. I always like to wrap the line around the gripper and just pull to see if I'm going to get my lure back. Well, he got snagged again, so all right. We shall see, man, did I get my maps back? Or will I be able to change, will I have to change to a different color? Dude, I think I got it back. Wow. The, fit, the gods of fishing are on my side today. And the hook did not get bent that bad, as you guys can see. I can still use it as it is. Ooh, not bad at all. Oh, there's one. Oh, yeah. That one hit, came out right out of the lily pads. Very nice. Yeah, there's another one, chunky. I mean, for this canal, right, it's rare for you to catch anything bigger than two pounds. Once in a while, you would get a two and a half, three or bigger. Most of the bass are about this size right over here. So yeah, this one was on the bottom of the mouth, right? As you guys see, quick unhook here. Ah, there we have it. Oh. Almost got my finger. And let me just release this guy over here. Bang. There you have it. That's beautiful. Did I did I just find a Senko on the ground? And a good Senko too? Yeah, I think that's a Gary Yamamoto Senko, man. Let me see, is it a Gary Yamamoto? Actually, I'm not so sure if it is a Gary Yamamoto, but check that out now. I just found a whole Senko set up out here. Not bad. Free lures. Oh, there's one. Not bad, not bad. Oh yeah, one jump, one jump. The bass came out, man, and nailed it, nailed it. I really needed this bite too. I've been, you know, without a fish for quite a while. Whew. It's been about 90 minutes since I caught a fish here at the canal. I've been covering a lot of water, but oh, there you go. Healthy largemouth bass right next from the sunken trunk, right? If it wasn't textbook, bite enough. Beauty. This is like, I lost count already what number this was for today, but let me release this fellow over here. Final view. All right, go back where you belong. Healthy. There's one. Why I always make that noise though, the oh, when they bite, huh? I kind of realized that just now. Damn, look at the size of this little baby, man. It's a baby chain pickerel. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but today all the pickerel have been about this size. I haven't been able to find anything that is like bigger. Than, than about the size huh pretty disappointing yeah i hit the spinner look at that hooked on the inside of the mouth all right so it's not like i snagged this dude okay ready to go back where it belongs man i really hope i can find like you know i'm running out of time so hmm let's hope <sighs> let me check the time here real quick it is 3 30 p.m so i've been fishing out here for about four hours it was a good day today i mean i don't want to mislead you guys so i'm not going to say that epf i mean sorry gugan roku came out here today and is laid fish right as you guys know every time i come out here on the youtube channel and i do my lure reviews i never really go to private bodies of water right so i wasn't really fishing a, a private lake it wasn't like one cast one fish type of situation as a matter of fact if you watch the videos here on the channel you know exactly where I was today right this here is the is the Delaware Canal which is a 
public body of water that it gets a lot of pressure. So only today I saw four people fishing for bass in, in this canal, right? So it is a lot of pressure, okay? I covered a lot of water, I cast a lot, you know, and there were no secrets in this video, really. Well, that being said, the MAPS Bastard Kit that I actually have it right here with me did surprise me today in this video, okay? It worked much, much better than I expected. As you guys can see, I have five of them over here, right? Plus the one on my rod, the white one. I got it snagged more than 15 times today and I didn't lose a single lure. I mean, overall, I'll give it 10 out of 10. The materials on this specific spinner are not like, whoa, you know, godly, right? But it's not as bad, okay? It wasn't the type of spinner that you go out there, you catch three fish and the whole thing is like destroyed, right? You guys can see, it's still got the trailer over here that I'll be able to use in the future and catch more fish. The castability of the lure was actually pretty decent. This is the Aglia 3 blade that I still haven't really found out how much it weights, but as you folks know, I was using 30 pounds Power Pro line, and this is pretty heavy line. With this heavy line, I was able to cast pretty far in the canal, right? If you know the physics behind castability, you know that a pound test line and the diameter of the line are actually inversely proportional to castability, meaning that if I wanted to cast even farther with this lure, all I need to do is change my pound test here and my diameter, right, to maybe 20 pounds or 12 pounds test, and I would be able to catch much, much farther out there. So, I mean, I have nothing to complain, really. I will give it a 10 out of 10. The inline spinner has always been a very underrated lure in the fishing community. I knew for a fact that it would work because I have been using inline spinners for a long, long time, right? Just different brands. Even when it comes to the Maps, which is a brand that has been in the market for a long time, I have used the Aglia, but just the smaller ones, I never really used the Aglia 3. And another thing too, every time you talk to folks in the fishing community, right? And you mention inline spinners, the first thing that comes to people's mind is the trout, right? That is a huge misconception when it comes to this particular type of lure. You tell people, oh, people tell you, oh, I'm going to be using inline spinners today. Automatically, a lot of people think, whoa, he's going for trout, right? Which is why I decided to get the Besser kit for this particular video, right? And just to end this video, I would like to point out that even the bass anglers in the Bass Bassmaster Elite Series, right? I mean, or the FLW, all right, or the Major League, they tend to use inline spinners too, right, for the bass. This ain't no secret. Even our local professional bass angler, Mike Iaconelli, emphasized in the past and continues to emphasize that sometimes when he encounters some finicky bass, he changes to an inline spinner, he goes out there and he's lace. So if you have never used it before, man, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why, but you are missing out, okay? This one I got on Amazon. I'm going to leave the hyperlink in the description of the video. If you guys want to give it a try, it is not really cheap. It is about five to six dollars per lure, but I can vouch for it, okay? If you go out with this stuff right here, chances are, you are going to catch some fish, okay? So thank you very much for watching today's video. Truly appreciate it. Super hot. I'm ready to go home, get myself hydrated again. Tie lines. I'll see you guys next time.